There's all kinds of different crazy fish species out there and all kinds of exotic places to find them. You can catch marlin that can get up to 600 pounds. You can catch bluefin tuna that are even bigger. You can catch salmon, one of the most awesome sport fish species in North America. But today, we're actually going after something a little bit different, a little bit smaller, and a little bit more fun for kids. Today, we're actually going to Southwest Oregon at a lake where the State Fish and Wildlife Department stocks thousands and thousands of trout that are super easy to catch and taste awesome on a smoker. Our goal today, catch a limited trout with the kids, have a good time, and show you guys how to cook those things up and make them delicious. Thanks for watching Morgan's World. Let's catch a limited trout. Hey everybody, welcome back to Morgan's World. So guys, you don't remember the last time we camped? We were here and we started a little campfire. Our trip started on the east side of the lake, but unfortunately there were no fish biting. We saw some birds feeding over on the south side and headed that direction. Guys, look. See these money? I found them over there where we started. Yeah. And I found these and they're not wet anymore. They're dry now. I'm not going to spend them. I might spend them. I might not. We're not going to go crazy spending our winnings and we're not going to let this money change us. Ah, it's not a liquid. <laughs> Yeah. Haley just spotted a cormorant out there. Wait, I just saw a fish! You did? What kind? Um, it looked like a bat. Was it? Cormorants usually live in the ocean, but they come over here quite often. Like and uh, kind of like a duck. I don't know much about them. What we used to catch these fish was just a bobber and a hook with some line in between, about three feet of line. The hook can be small, the bobber can be medium sized, any type, and then you just stick a worm on there and let it set. Pretty easy. I'm really sure I saw a fish. So far we haven't even had a hit, but we've been seeing a few fish jump over there by the boat inlet, so maybe we'll move over. Right. Morgan had a hit. Had a hit. All right, I think we go over to where we saw those fish hopping. I'm still seeing them dance over there. So. Okay. Worms. Can you put the lid on? Good job. <laughs> Haley, that's a cormorant. Yeah. Another cormorant. Hey, she's getting hit, guys. She's getting hit. Oh, yeah. Boom. Boom. Fish on. She's got something. Oh, yeah. What is that? I don't know. Oh, oh well. Oh, boom. Fish on. What is this thing? Dude, there's trout. They did stock it. I'll be damned. Oh, hell yeah, babe. Good job. Guys, this is so sad, but we have to kill him. Ouch! He's oh. deformed. So guys, basically there's so much fish out there. So, I'm just going to catch something. I'm glad we're catching some. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah. Riv, stay, stay back from back. the water. Needs to come back a little bit. Here, Riv, I'm getting yours set up right now. Well, at least we know now. We found out for oh, ourselves oh, they did oh, stock. Oh. Yeah! Oh, man, you got to set that hook good after they eat it. Oh, you have the worm still? Yeah. Here, can you give it to, some to Daddy? Here, let me cut some of them up so I can give some of them to Daddy. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, uh -oh. oh that fish is getting away. Oh, oh dude. Oh. Hit my... 
Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. The worm went bye bye. Let's see. Hold on. Let's wait. Got him. You got him, bud. All on your own. Oh yeah, nice fish, buddy. Woo! Yeah, on the boat. Flip him on the bank. Yes. Guys, I just told one all by myself. Battle, you, man. Good job. Cool, dude. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's on right in the mouth. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Look at that. Brilliant. See how big it is from that fish. Yeah. Bubba, get it. Yeah, buddy. It. Good job, Bubba. Reel it, honey. Every... Yeah, buddy. That's <laughs> so cool. Rainy day trout. That's a big Yay, fish, Riv. Baby. Good job. Even a trout. Good Riff, job. Baby. Get him up, Riv. He's like, hey. Good fish, Riv. That's a big fish. You gotta reel it, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, buddy. <gasps> Lift it. Woo! Oh, Good job. Fish. Good job, buddy. Yeah, Is that a trout? Uh -oh. So. Oh, Abel? On. Abel's on? Abel's on. Oh my god. Yeah, my line just broke when I set the hook. <laughs> Alright, it is dumping rain. The boat just ripped through here, so we'll see if the fish are still in. Um, you know, I'll let the kids catch the rest, but I still am greedy enough. I need more. I'm gonna catch more. Look at that guy, he's going wild. Good job. Look at that <gasps> bitch. Yeah, buddy. Head home and cook some fish. I'm gonna use this stick so that we can hold the fish. It is definitely not a dry day. No, but hey, you know, I it like came it. out. River's ready to be done. Oh. I know, I wish you wore your jacket. And then we'll just string them up and hold it this way, and that barb should keep them. 
You're good. <laughs> yeah. We just ran into some followers of our videos, uh, Skylar and Casey. Nice <laughs> to meet you guys. Thank you for watching. They're gonna take over the shift because we're leaving. We caught our bunch of fish. What did we catch? Eight, nine. Eight, I think. Abel we'll let one go, just yeah. you know, to be nice. Uh, these ones weren't so lucky, but I hope they limit out. I think they will. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Back at the casa. I haven't really told you about Hangry the Peacock yet. I was at a job, I'm a plumber, I was at a job the other week and some people moved up from California and this peacock was on their place. And basically uh, they didn't like it because it pooped on everything. I was like, I'll take it. And the kids love it. Her name's Hangry. Um, She's a uh, part of the farm for now. Now I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how to clean those trout. It's very easy. Stay with me. I'll give you a quick little step-by-step. -step. Go from the fish's butt vent and cut up to the gill plate. Now rip all those guts out. Then you're just gonna take that kidney out by using your thumb to Rub it along the backbone, remove all that red stuff. You're good to go. Now this fish is ready to eat. And now the rest of them, I'm just gonna clean super. Hello everyone, welcome back to Haley's Kitchen. We're gonna try a trout dip and we are going to do stuffed jalapeno. to see where that goes. Preheat my oven to 400 degrees. I got my little help, one helper at least in the kitchen, huh? So, can we do this one on the fishies? Yeah. Some little quarters here. Mm -hmm, just like that. Let's start out with a fourth a cup of sour cream. I think I'm gonna do another quarter cup. And I'm gonna squeeze some lemon juice right in there. Mix those together. We have some parsley that I'm going to cut up. Okay. Where's Daddy? So I'm going to do my very best to try to get all of the bones out of the trap. Y'all, dump it in. I'm excited. Yeah, see how it tastes like. Hmm, wonder how this is going to taste. I think it'll be pretty good. I'm curious. Send it. It's definitely got a trouty smell to it. Yeah. It's not bad, but right off the bat, it's, it's definitely fishy. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> definitely a 
changed it. <laughs> it's almost like, it would almost be better like if you were to have it on like a cracker or something, I think. I'll eat it. It's not bad, but. It... I kind of like that. I'll try it with the pepper too. Uh oh. Yeah, try it with the pepper and I'll try it without. That to me is actually pretty good. I don't know about a dinner, but really good snack food. Yeah, for sure it's like a snack. Yeah. Not. Not as a popper. Mm -hmm. Does it popper? No. So, there you guys go. See you on the next one.